we will be talking about one important topic and our maternity nursing and that is pregnancy induced hypertension all right okay so pregnancy induced hypertension do not okay forget also your maternity and child nursing that is one topic also in your NCLEX and if we'll be talking about the test format okay we will be talking about your multiple choice the test format and since in MindWeb Academy we are following the test plan okay this test uh, this case is under your content area which is your health promotion okay maternity and child nursing okay let's okay look at the question nurse Catherine is caring for a client with pregnancy induced hypertension okay which assessment indicates a need to order a magnesium sulfate blood level okay letter a a urine output decreased from 70 cc per hour to 30 cc per hour letter b respiratory rate okay from 14 to 18 letter c hypertonic patellar reflexes letter b blood pressure from 150 over 90 to 170 over 100 so let's go back to the question your keyword is pih and which assessment indicates a need to order a magnesium sulfate blood level so if you're going to rephrase the question which one here indicate magnesium toxicity am i right okay so saan dito uh, kailangan na natin ng blood level baka kasi toxic na ang magnesium level sa client natin okay so i'll give you time to answer okay let's make this let us make this discussion okay lively okay you can comment your question in the comment question okay comment your answer in the comment section okay what is your best answer versus i know you will have okay one correct answer here okay one point for that is that a letter b letter c or letter d okay what comes into your mind when you say magnesium sulfate? Okay, before I give the correct answer, let me first discuss again your magnesium sulfate. Your magnesium sulfate nurses is a calcium antagonist, right? This is a calcium antagonist. As a calcium antagonist, it can block the calcium. Remember, in, in our lecture, okay, in my actual digital lecture also, you will understand this, that calcium causes contraction of the smooth muscle. Okay. Pag nag-contract ang smooth muscle, tataas ang blood pressure ng client natin. Okay. And then, mag, pag nag-contract ang uterus, possible, magkakaroon ng labor ang mother. Okay. So, calcium, as a calcium antagonist, this can be used Okay, as your tocolytic agent, okay, to prevent preterm labor, kasi nire-relax na ang uterus, and it can be an adjuvant therapy, pag sinabi ko adjuvant, additional treatment for hypertension. Kasi irerelax nyo din ang blood vessel eh, may smooth muscle po yun. Pag narelax ang blood vessel, magda-dilate, babagsak ang blood pressure ng client natin, okay? And then the other one that you have to remember for magnesium sulfate, this is a CNS depressant. Okay, with a therapeutic level of 4 to 7 milligram per DL. Did you get my point? Okay, so we can answer, okay, this question, okay, you have to know, of course, your nursing responsibility, okay, before giving your what? Magnesium sulfate. One of your nursing responsibility is to check Okay, the urine output of the client, okay? You have to report if you have less than 30 cc per hour. Remember, it's what? A CNS depressant. So these are the things that you have to check. Urine output less than 30 cc per hour, report this one. Because what is the normal urine output? It's 30 to 60 cc per hour. Okay, less than 30, it would indicate what? It will indicate magnesium toxicity all right then aside from your urine output you have to check also for the bladder okay and bowel function of your client okay aside from that you have to check also for your okay uh, deep tendon reflexes or your dtr okay your deep tendon 
reflexes. You have to check for that also. All right. And then aside from your deep tendon reflexes, you also have to check the most important is the respiratory rate of your client. The respiratory rate, okay, should be, okay, between normal. You have to report if you have less than 12, okay, breaths per minute, okay. I, ano na natin siya, i-report na natin, why? Seen as depressant siya. Remember, in my brain, andun ang nagko-control sa cardiovascular and respiratory system. Once ang brain ko is depressed, hindi na din na-regulate ang respiration ko, baka hindi na ako makahinga, tama po ba? Ano ba ang pinapainom natin sa client natin? As seen as depressant. Baka ma-depress ang brain ko and hindi na din makontrol ang respiration ko, hindi na ako makahinga, tama po ba? So report this, report this also. Okay? So this will indicate now magnesium toxicity. If you have less than okay, 30 okay, cc per hour and a respiration of less than 12. Okay? And then if you have Okay, absence of your deep tendon reflexes. Okay, pag wala na, ibig sabihin, okay, central nervous system depressant. Okay, so let's check. Letter A, urine output decrease from 70 cc per hour to 30. Okay, although hindi pa siya less than, do I have to expect na papunta na ako sa magnesium toxicity? Yes, okay. What about B, respiratory rate increase from 14 to 18? Is this improvement? Yes, improvement in condition. Why? If you are using CNS depressant, okay, less than 12 report. But if 12 up, improving ang client natin. Am I correct? Okay. Hypertonic patella reflexes will not indicate, okay, magnesium toxicity. But this will indicate and will give you idea that the client needs your magnesium sulfate. Okay? Because hypertonic eh. Okay, hypertonic patellar. Pag hypertonic, hyperactive ang reflexes niya. Do you have to suppress that? Yes, by giving what? CNS depressant. So this will not indicate, letter C will not indicate what? Your okay, toxicity. The same with letter D. Lalong tumaas eh. So you need what? Magnesium sulfate. Okay? And this will not indicate magnesium toxicity. Okay, so this is for your okay, maternity nursing. Okay, under a test content with is sure, okay, health, promotion, and maintenance. Okay, don't forget one important topic is sure, PIH. And don't forget your nursing responsibility.